It was raining. Dark out. Real late. As I drove towards the bar, I could already see his silhouette stumbling in the street. The bar had closed, and he was oh. waiting for his usual rideshare. Oh. As he approached the car, he banged on the hood with his hand as if to slow me down. Are you my he lift? was drunk. My really drunk. Lifty lift. <laughs> he carelessly opened the door and jumped in next to me. The smell of his breath Uber. was nauseating. Uber. None of those were my name, but he didn't really care. Twenty minutes to Crescent Road. His eyes fixated on the glow of my phone. You ever wonder what she looks like? I actually didn't. But he wanted small talk, so I gave it to him. No, you? I don't know. Merge onto Rover and Hill. I've done her before. Done her? The phone. He took the phone and started rubbing yeah. it on his leg. Yeah, baby, yeah. Yeah, baby. He placed it back on the holder. Oh, yeah. I could tell this was going to be a very long 20 minutes. In 500 feet, turn She's left probably on nasty. Road Avenue. Nasty girl, you know? Then he leaned forward. You ever see that movie Alien, when the alien leans into Sigourney Weaver? Well, that was him. I felt his eyes lingering on me. What's up? Just staring at me. I'm straight. But you're really attractive. Well, that caught me off guard. I shot him a look that made him back off a little. Sorry, it's just attractive. Mm, okay. But I'm straight. No problem. I reassured him. I'm a degenerate. Oh, yeah? I've done some really bad things. Bad person. Eh, I'm sure you're not. I said trying to up his self-esteem a bit. But then he started mumbling to himself. The only discernible word I understood was knife. Uh, what about a knife? knife in my pocket. I want to use it on someone. I want to use it on my ex. He opened the window and started screaming. You bitch! You bitch! He sat back down, staring at me with hatred. Did you do her? Did you do her too? Do who? You better not have. As I drove, we passed through Redwood Canyon Tunnel and navigated the turns of the twisty, deserted, mountainous roads. I used my knife on you. No cars had passed and no cars were following. This was an incredibly isolated area where something bad were to happen. No one would know. His phone rang. I was surprised because I didn't think there was any reception out there. He put the phone to his ear and started screaming at the person on the other end. What do you mean you're waiting for me? Moron! You're an absolute moron! Yeah, go ahead. Cancel the ride, moron. He hung up violently and turned to me. I wasn't sure if he was going to express his love for me or throw up. I was another driver. So he was waiting for me at the bar and wondering where I was. Dumbass. I pulled the car over. He recognized the darkness outside as not the darkness he was used to at his house. Where are we? Where the hell are we? End of the ride. He might have had a knife, but what he didn't have was the element of surprise. Or my experience. I pushed him out of the car and got out on my side. I was wearing gloves. Not because it was cold. But because I needed to push him down the mountain without it ever getting back to me. Or his ex who had hired me. No. Please. It was an easy no. accomplishment. No. As I got back in the car and drove home, I reflected on what went down. There was one thing that stood out to me as being quite bizarre. His line. Telling me he was straight, but I was attractive. No one had told me that for a long, long time. And it was quite nice, actually. Five stars. <laughs>